Bajo del crucifijo. In the 80s with the canciones de mi padre, in the Mexican community, Linda's music was an enormous source of pride for people. It brought me a lot of hope. Because I was light-skinned and with a German surname, people didn't suspect that I was Mexican, and they'd make some kind of a Mexican remark. They'd go, well, these greasers coming in here, you know, and I'd always get pretty hot about it. Linda invited our group, Los Ensembles, to join her going to Mexico. We're going to play music. This is music that comes from years ago, and we're bringing it back alive, and it's still alive. The kids growing up in the United States, they're Americans. It's important that they know that we're all immigrants, every one of us that isn't native. I could see the value of a trip to go down for musical purposes, for musical exchange. How'd you get Jackson to come? We asked him. <laughs> Look, if Linda Ronstadt invites you to go to Mexico, I don't need to know any more than that. It's, let's go. I remember one time, I was smaller than my sister. And they were gone, or my dad was gone. He had been detained. And that was very scary. Ms. Waldo, what do you want for the country in your future? I want to see white people and Mexicans together. I want to see them talking to each other. 